Hey, what's up everybody? This is Visit Joan. And if you're watching this on the day it came out, I am somewhere in the Wisconsin Dells, probably chilling on a lazy river or going down a water slide. And you know, with the craziness that was island living and the release of Trouble in Paradise, I pretty much spent the entire summer going go, go, go with these videos. And so I desperately needed a break. And well, here I am. But fear not, because I actually have some videos for you guys. And I'm going to try not to talk over this, the outside of this house, because I actually don't like it when people do that. It's like, okay, seriously, I've seen the outside of the house. Can we move on now? But Sims 2 Vets will recognize this house. And this is something, this is Cat Manor from The Sims 2. And I built this for fun. I'm not rewriting Romeo and Juliet, guys. Well, if I did, it would have a better ending. But still, it, I, I needed something to fill the gap between where I currently was and and the release of Trouble in Paradise. I was still working on that and I needed something to do. So I decided to build this house just for fun. And because I thought it would be kind of funny if I needed a teenage couple in the background somewhere for it to be Romeo and Juliet. Kind of like, ah, ha, 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 ha. But anyway, we are going to go inside this house. And you can see right away, we enter the main living area. Oh man, this is, this is so laggy, but I, I think it had something to do with, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing on this mouse. I'm not smooth on the mouse at all. But anyway, this is the main living area you got. I made it like mostly white with the colors are all in the furniture and I don't even like houses like that, but I felt like this is what this house would look like. And so hopefully this goes a lot smoother when I am, you know, not recording over it. But anyway, we got the TV here, we got a closet, we got a mirror in the entryway, and we have just a bunch of knickknacks just randomly there because I feel that's like, you know, what they would have. Um, those photos up there are like family photos. I use that in place of family photos. But anyway, we have a little um, hallway here. Oh, hello, Contessa. Yeah, Contessa's alive in this, I, yeah. Anyway, she is um, on the computer. We got the computer, the desk here. We got more family photos up there. And as you can see, we have a bookshelf. I ignore that vase that's kind of floating. I can't get the um, height exactly right here. And um, you can see there's a brick wall in the middle of the house. And that's because there's fireplace there. And I didn't design this house, guys. I just rebuilt it. But I put a lot of work into it. So... Anyway, we're going to continue on into this little room right here, and it is a bathroom. There's nothing really fancy here, just a half bath with a plant in it. And I don't really do fancy bathrooms. I just make them white. I really should probably quit doing that because I don't know. I mean, I've seen other people with, like, tile in the bathroom. But anyway, here we come to the formal dining room, and it's blue, as you can see. And I kind of like the little, like, upholstered chairs. I felt like that fit the whole atmosphere of this house. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, like, what stuff packs it's all from, because I just don't like when people do that. It's like, you know, tell me about the house, not about the stuff packs, but you've got the globe bar over there, and, you know, I decided to put, like, a little hutch there, and another fireplace, because I, you know, that was there in the original house. But it just, this is what I just felt, you know, fit the house. You've got a blue rug, oh, sorry about that, and, um... Anyway, we're going to go through this door now, and we go to the kitchen, and I kind of have it a little, like, pink-green vibe, but I still have kind of, like, that classic feel to it, like, um, the wood cabinets, and there's a whole bunch of clutter on the, um, shelves. I've been re getting really better at cluttering shelves, and we have, ooh, a grilled cheese sandwich. That looks yummy. And, um, we have an island right there, and there's another door out to the dining room. And there's a little spot for, you know, the family can come and eat breakfast or, you know, because breakfast probably, probably if they have a formal meal, it's dinner. Breakfast is just like come and go. But anyway, you got all the clutter here. You got smoke detector because everyone needs one of those. Golden frying pans, although I've never seen those in real life. But okay, they looked cool and they matched the color scheme. So I'm like, why not? Actually, I don't even remember what I was thinking when I made this, but... Anyway, so now we're going to head back to the living area and we're going to head on over to the master suite. The master suite is right through here. We have the master bedroom. It is on the first floor. Anyway, we have it 
I kind of put like a lot of like reds in it and made it a little brown because the walls in The Sims 2 were just like this stone stuff. And I'm like, who actually has that in their walls? Like really? So I kind of replaced it with like a little brown. I've got a hamper there. I've got anniversary cards for Consort and Contessa. But um, maybe somebody sent that for them for their anniversary because they've been married a while. So I have like little candles in there and I have like, you know, a bunch of like perfume bottles and stuff on the vanity table. And I don't even, you know, people should, never mind. But anyway, through here is the master bathroom and we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is where I went all out with the bathrooms, you guys. And I put, oh wow, glitch. And I put the um bathtub shower combo there. And well, you guys can see that I, you know, but I kind of just went all out with this because it is the fanciest bedroom in the whole house. But I gave up two sinks and I gave up mirrors on either side of the um sinks. Because if I put sinks in front of windows, I usually put like a mirror on the side of it. Because I usually put, you know, the sink, the mirror over the sink, because that's just the way I've always seen it done. But, um, anyway, we're going to head upstairs. And on the second floor, basically, are all the, um, bedrooms for the teenagers in this house. But here on the landing, you can see we have a Don't Wake the Llama table with some more family photos. And, you know, the landing in The Sims 2 was just pretty bland, so I decided I was going to put some stuff in it, um... That goes to some of the bedrooms in, the, in a bathroom. But over here we have the laundry area. I don't have, there was there was no laundry room in this house, but I put a little area there. And we have easels because that was there in The Sims 2. And as we continue along here, I probably should have put something along that wall, but I just didn't know what to do. Ooh, I love that color swatch. I'm not a big fan of those ornate fancy couches, but I love that blue. Anyway, continuing along here, we have a desk with no computer on it, and we have a freaking grand piano. What what the heck is that doing all the way? How did you even get that up the stairs, now that I think about it? Anyway, we are coming into Juliet's room, and her room is just a bunch of... I kind of made it like a yellowish color, because that's what it was in The Sims 2. And here we have Juliet on her computer, but I kind of accented it... Blech accented it with pink and blue and I just made it kind of girly because I, I just feel that Juliet would be kind of the girly one and I figured she's probably like classically trained on the violin so I put that in her room and she definitely would have a vanity table and she does have a double bed because I figured you know she and Romeo need a place to mess around okay I'm going to stop now but um she probably has I put the little flower things up there as you can see and you know, she, I figured, you know, there'd be a music trophy there because she's probably musically inclined. And that's a bear that maybe Romeo won for her, who the heck knows. But we go through here and we find Juliet has her own bathroom, which is really convenient. But, um, she has, like, the fancy schmancy bubble jet tub. I guess if she wants a shower, she'd have to use the one downstairs. But anyway, that is that. And now we're going to head back to her brother and sister's rooms. Okay, so through this door on the left, I believe it is, yes, it is the left. Anyway, this is Hermia's room. And I kind of gave Hermia this little colorful punk vibe because, you know, that, that's the vibe I get from, well, oh, sorry, from her. I have the skateboards. I have this really cool city living dresser. I made the walls, like, bright purple because, well, they didn't really have all that much of, um, I don't even remember what it was in The Sims 2 anymore. But I decided to go colorful and a dark purple punk vibe and I added accented that with the stuff from movie hangout as you can see right there I gave her the dark nail polish set and she obviously has I need more room in the wall so I put those bars there and she has like the string of photos oh and there she is hi Hermia she's got a colorful bed and more photos there and um one of those little hangy down dangly thingies. I don't even know what you call those. I just love those things though. I wish I had one in my room. But anyway, and there's supposed to be a door there, but apparently there's not. It deleted itself on me. I have absolutely no idea why. But we go through this door and we find the bathroom that Hermia and Tybalt share. It has a shower and a bathtub. And it's got a sink with a whole bunch of... Uh, 
the whole bunch of um, bathroom clutter. There we go. And I'm going to show you a little bit. There's Hermia again. Um, okay, we, we've seen the depth of the bathroom. That's the door that goes back out to the hallway. And this is where the door to Tybalt's room is supposed to be. But we go through here, we enter his room, and we can see he is browsing something on the internet. Who knows what he's doing? But I figured that Tybalt would be, you know, very into sports since he does have a high body skill. So I gave him a bunch of sports posters and a signed jersey. And, you know, I kind of made his room blue because he has, I don't know, I figured he would have that. And he has his own gaming system. And I gave him the weights. And what else did I give him? I gave him the trophies. Maybe he was, like, you know, uh, played sports as a kid. But anyway, you guys, but that's that's his room. And so we're going to go back out this door. But anyway, you guys, that that's pretty much it for Cat Manor. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you giving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye!